So, um, we're leaving tomorrow. And I still have a few things to pack. And I got some more over there. I think my main concern right now is um, my carry-on bag over there. Like, I don't know if I should fill it with all of my shoes. Because I don't want my luggage to be, like, very heavy. I want to be able to have space so that when I come back here, I'll be able to, like, bring all the stuff that I bought over there. So, yeah, that's what's up. And I'm also just testing out this, uh, what's it called? This balance gorilla look, pod looking thing. So, yeah. We, our flight tomorrow is at 12.30 p.m. But we gotta be at the airport at 8.30. That's what we told each other. So, yeah. I'll see you in a bit, I guess. Honestly though, these packing cubes saved my life. I put so much in here and it just saves so much room in my luggage. Like, there's so much space. I love it. So happy. It is the day. And I am wearing my Oilers jersey because... Let me just flip this on. They have a game today. So I'm going to wrap this at the airport. And currently Pierre is showering right now, so I'll have to wait for him and we should have been like leaving by now, but I guess we're gonna have to wait. 107.ca taking me to the airport. I just have the big guys don't want to know that. But it's true. I'm pretty sure everything is in there. He's making me check if my luggages are in the back. The right one. And it is. It's so awkward. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> to make his own water bottle holder in his backpack because he doesn't have one and he stuck it. Very innovative. That's so awesome. We're finally boarding our flight. Thank you very it took forever. Made it.
looks like. been on this flight for how long? I think over 10 hours or, so, or something and we've never seen um, nighttime. nighttime so this whole plane ride has just been daytime which is like super weird. Airport or anything or show you around because it was so busy we just like tried our best to reach customs and baggage claim as fast as we could because there were so many people so yeah it was uh, crazy. it was a crazy experience because I felt like Anisha and I couldn't really like absorb everything in but Andrew has been here already so he knows what it's like but for me and Anisha it was like really stressful we were just overwhelmed and then yeah the drive to our guest house was super long and they dropped us off farther from our hotel or guest house so we had to walk with six luggages uphill in Itaewon we still had enough energy to like walk around Itaewon and stuff yeah. Well, we had no sleep at all. Yeah, we, we've just been awake for too long, so we just came back home. Because it's almost 12 a.m. and we still need to sleep, so. Yeah. It's like morning Edmonton time. But yeah, we're just getting settled, hoping for the best in this trip. And we'll see you more. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what we'll do tomorrow. <coughs> but yeah, good night. Good night. And you should in the shower too, but yeah. You can <laughs> hear her. Yeah. <laughs>